going vegan, people judge you for it. Friends and family saying, you know, that's weird. Why are you doing that? Our society has made it very difficult for you to go and stay vegan, especially like if you're not in a culture or in an area that makes it easier for you. It's okay for me to walk up to someone and scam them out of $100 just because I like money and it's more convenient than working. Uh, that is immoral and inappropriate. It's okay to walk up to a person and punch them in the head if it gives you sensory pleasure. No. It would be better though if I scammed a child out of the money. No, that would actually be worse. Okay. Although it's bad if you scam anybody out of money, but yeah. a child is, you know, that's even worse. And why would that be worse? It's more heinous because their mind isn't developed. You're taking advantage of someone who doesn't know better. So kind of like, like an adult has like power over a child. They're kind of more sure. intelligent. They can, yeah. Okay, and so that kind of makes it worse to yeah, exploit the them in some way. In, a diff in yeah. addition to, uh, the regular crime that you're right, committing. Yeah. I mean. It's okay to punch a punching bag if it gives you sensory pleasure. Yeah. It would be okay to scam them if I had no money and I was going to die of starvation otherwise. A scam is still a scam. It's still yeah. wrong. On a scale of one to ten, it would be slightly less wrong if, if, if that's all you got going. It's still, it's, yeah. it's still bad though. I mean, okay. there's no question about it. So kind of like it's bad, but a little more justified because a little yeah. more justified. it's okay to walk up to a dog and punch them in the head if it gives you sensory pleasure. No. Okay. You're not about punching dogs. <laughs> no. I want you to imagine those same questions now. Sure. And instead of me scamming the person out of money, I physically assaulted them to get the money. Okay. Does that change your answer to any of those questions? Is it okay to physically assault a person? Is it okay to physically assault a child for money? No, I mean, that makes it even worse. You're taking okay. a step further. You're committing two crimes. It's okay to walk up to a pig and punch them in the head if it gives you sensory pleasure. No. So you said sort of no to the pig, dog, and human, and you said yes to the punching bag. Mm -hmm. Why did you answer that way? What's the difference there? Um, I guess because a... I kind of see where you're going with it now. <laughs> um, just because, uh, of course, a punchy bag doesn't have any ability to feel pain, mm -hmm. and the others do. And can the other also experience like emotions and things like that? Um, I think on some level, I think it's difficult for us to measure whether or not they can. Um, and, and that sort of puts a stop to us, you know, knowing about that. So you think pain everywhere and then maybe, maybe emotions in the dog and the pig. Definitely maybe, emotion, maybe yeah. and definitely emotions in the human, I assume. Yes. Okay. <laughs> sort of exploiting someone or harming them is wrong if it's just because, you know, you like that thing or out of your own convenience. That's not a good enough reason That's correct. to yeah, scam or that exploit. Might be a bad and it's it's worse to scam or exploit an individual who's sort of dumber than you or sure. dumb dumber is a mean way uh, to say it to show, but less powerful than you, I guess I would sure, say. Sure, yes. Power imbalance yeah. adds a new dynamic yeah. to it, it makes it worse. Yeah. And then if it were a case that, you know, you were gonna die otherwise, you still kind of think it would be bad but it, it's like more justified is kind of the... sure it's 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 less bad it could be a gray area but it's still yeah. bad i mean there's other things yeah. you can do you, okay. you don't have to scam people yeah. so there's no question around yeah. that so it's kind of like you would think like maybe you know if there was a situation like that it's like you would look for other options first sure. before you scam be last, someone last yeah. resort do you eat any sort of animal products like meat or eggs or dairy or anything like that i do Okay. I do. What is the primary reason that you eat those, would you say? Or reasons, you can have multiple reasons. I think a lot of it is cultural, um, where I live. So I don't actually live here, I live in which oh, okay. is very rural. Um, it's difficult to find things that are not animal products. Mm -hmm. um, I've tried to cut down a lot of times, but it ends up just being sort of prohibitory mm -hmm. based on where I live to, to not eat animal products. Okay, so that's the first set of questions. Uh, right. How are you feeling right now? Feeling good? Yeah, sure. Okay, awesome. So uh, the questions might get a little more emotionally evocative now. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> What we're going to do is we're kind of going to remember the principles that we established here. And sure. by the way, I agree with you with your answers to those. I, I kind of I have the same principles, but we're going to kind of switch topics. Do you eat any sort of animal or animal products, chickens, eggs, sure. milk, any of those? Yeah, things? all of the uh, omnivore, all, all of the all, above, all sure. Above. Do you think that on the farms and in the slaughterhouses, do you think there's any exploitation or harm that we cause to those animals? Yes, okay. definitely. No, without a question. Yeah, yeah. Do you think that animals on these farms, do you think they suffer? Do you think they suffer more than a punch in the head, I guess? I'd say they do. Okay. Yeah. Scale of one to 10, how much do you think it is on average, the average farm, I would say? Um, it's, it's up there. I mean, maybe eight. Yeah. I mean, it's not a great life for those animals. They're basically bred to be eaten. And as a result, they're not having a great, the greatest life they could have with chickens, uh, having bigger body parts than they would otherwise being overweight, et cetera, yeah. having arthritis and chronic issues. Yeah. Same for any other yeah. livestock. Sure. Before we said sensory pleasure wouldn't justify punching them ahead. So as far as food, would you say the sensory pleasure of eating food, would that justify what we do to animals? No, I, I think it's it's awful, obviously. And I think if you ask anybody like it, who's informed about it, mm -hmm. whether or not it's, it's okay, like what happens to animals on factory farms, they'd say like, of course, that is terrible. I think for most people, it's more difficult because it's not you doing it directly, right? It's something that's happening, like someone else is doing it, you don't ever see it, you're buying food from the store, which doesn't register as something that's bad to you personally because you're not you're not seeing that violence or mistreatment happen right. yeah it's 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 
kind of distances you from the thing. So do you think like, for instance, like let's say you walked into the grocery store and you know, you go to buy chicken and then you see the chickens like getting their throat slit on the thing. Yeah. Do you think that would, that would sort of cause you to think more about it and potentially not purchase that product? Yeah, I think absolutely it would. It'd be the same, you know, like cigarettes where they have like the, the consequences of it on the box. It's something you don't think about unless you see it or you're yeah. exposed to it. Yeah, a lot of them, it's unfortunate because the suffering is sort of bred into them. So even if the farm is like good, you know, even if they're treating the animals well, the genetics of the chicken are such that their life will be miserable. Sure. So, I, I agree yeah. with that, yes. It's, it's kind of like the difference between, you know, killing the animal ourselves or like sort of paying a hitman to yeah. kill the animal, yeah. you know. Uh, but he said that we don't ever see the hitman, you know. Maybe uh, just real quick, I just kind of want to take you through the life of a pig and I'll, I'll there'll be like a minute or less. Okay. And uh, some of this can be rough to hear, so sure. I just want to kind of warn you. Pigs, almost all of them, are castrated without painkillers uh, when they're when they're babies, which is extremely painful for them. They scream like crazy. They also have their tails and teeth cut off. And do you know why that might be? Why we would cut their tails and teeth off? It could be for taste reasons. If when you slaughter them, that would make the meat more tender, oh. something like that. I, I'm that, not sure. That's not why, but no. th I'm sure there stuff happens like for that reason. Okay. The reason is because we tend to pack pigs very close together, and they'll cannibalize each other if oh. they have teeth and tails. They'll bite. They'll start biting at the tails and then mm -hmm. cannibalize because they kind of essentially go insane from being in those things. I guess you kind of said it seemed like convenience was sort of the thing, like there's some convenience things. Yeah. So do you think it would be um, impossible for you to not eat uh, sort of animal products? I think it'd be difficult. I don't think it'd be impossible. Um, I think a big thing is social pressure, like friends and family saying, you know, that's weird. Why are you doing that? It's the same with any sort of um, like going vegetarian, going vegan, people judge you for it, which is it really should be the other way around. It really should be the other way around. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. I think that, that's a big part of it, especially if you live in, in a culture that is, is not accepting it to you doing things like that yeah and then do you know how how we kill pigs like what do you think it is uh, i'm not sure but all abattoir type slaughter is not pleasant so i have no, maybe it's like a guillotine type situation i have no idea so uh, a small percentage are sort of electric shocked in their head and some of them are just like shot with literal guns but the majority are actually put into gas chambers and so the gas chamber pumps in this uh, co2 mixture and it forms an acidic compound with their wet tissues and so they kind of die suffocating and they essentially are burning all throughout their like nose and throat now, you said you, you probably didn't know that about the gas no. chambers. How does that make you feel when you hear that? I feel bad. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's so horrific. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. But would you say, like, in the same scenario, let's say that someone were to, like, walk up to the dog and punch them, and they punch the dog because of convenience for some reason. Like, maybe they had to punch the dog to move it out of the way. Yeah, so they get, way. Yeah. yeah. Would you say that the convenience would justify that? No, no one. Right. Yeah. Would you say that social pressure would justify it? No. And I think that's something that like, if you really think about it, yeah. everybody knows those things are wrong. And we kind of said here, you know, we wouldn't think that sort of just because you like to do something or just because it's convenient, right? Those aren't really good justifications for sort of causing harm or causing exploitation, right? Sure. So in this context, I guess, you know, if a pig could talk or understand you or something, right? Like, what would you kind of say to that pig? What justification would you give them if they were like, why are you paying someone to put me in a gas chamber? I mean, there is no, nothing you could really say other than something that wouldn't <laughs> resound well with them. I mean, pigs are intelligent animals, so yeah. you can't say, well, you taste good, so we do what you do. I mean, there's no, I, 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 I wouldn't have anything to say. I mean, yeah. It's, yeah. it's a difficult situation, yeah. But it's... it's it's so diff like our society has made it very difficult mm -hmm. for you to go and stay vegan especially like if you're not in a culture or in an area that makes it easier for you like especially people maybe it's like eating meat is something your family does every day and you live with your family like of course it makes it more difficult I don't think it's justified like of course like yeah it totally is bad for me to like eat meat and things like that and again like if you think about it it's also bad for me to, to wear clothes that are made in a sweatshop and things like that it's just difficult to escape that's kind of where i was at two years ago kind of thinking through those questions um and i i ate meat my whole life and i ate a, I ate a ton of meat like i ate meat eggs all of it i started asking myself those questions and kind of like you just said there it's like i didn't have a good answer i was just like i don't have an answer to that question i felt like my values were misaligned with my behaviors you know and i felt like i sort of had to make a change what do you think about that i mean that's good i mean still teach their own i mean yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, it's too new for me. I, this is the first time I've heard that, so I, I you know, don't really know what to say. I think that's kind of what, what I was feeling when I first tried to do it. I was like, oh, this is going to be so much of a pain in the ass. And I ended up finding that it was actually much easier than I thought. So, like, once I committed to it and got, like, about, like, a month under my belt, it actually, like, now it, like, takes no more time. Like, to me, it's just, like, breathing air at this point. Like, I don't even really notice it. Once you got used to it, it wasn't. 
difficult. It seems like you're bothered by this, which I appreciate. It seems like you have a good heart. And so I can give you some sort of resources if you want that can sort of help you look into like both sort of like what's going on, but maybe more importantly from the practical side, how would you transition? You know what sure. I mean? What foods could you eat? Where could you go? Things like that. There's like guides and all that sort of stuff. Would you be interested in that? I, mean, I, I can do my own. Uh, yeah. no, I'm, I'm good though. Okay. Are, are we nearly the end? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I appreciate the uh, information and, yeah. and I can, you know, I mean, I'm a researcher from what I do, so yeah. I, I can look into it myself, but I, I do yeah. appreciate the, uh, the info. Yeah. Did you what were like the, the hurdles that you had in yeah. trans transferring over? My biggest hurdle was just like admitting that I should go vegan. I remember I walked down to my girlfriend and I was like, oh, God damn it, I think I'm going to go vegan. And she's like, <laughs> what? And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I'm still mulling it over, you know? And it was like, it was kind of like, you know, what you said, like there's a little bit of social convenience. Convenience was really a big one for me. That was actually kind of my top one. What do you value more? Sort of taste and convenience or the life and suffering of an individual? Um, <laughs> uh, I, when you say individual, though, like that's the, that's what makes it difficult. Because when I think of an animal, it's still it's it's still is livestock. We don't think of it the same way. It's like you yeah. can't say it like a human. So, yeah. well, so, I mean, well, so are they more like something or someone? I mean, is a is a dog more like a rock or like a person? More like a person, but not completely a person. Yeah. It's uh, it, there's still yeah. gradations of, of levels. Here. Mm, yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, I care, but I don't care that if you had to save like the you know that old philosophical question: a human or a dog? I'm saving the human every time. Same. I would I would save the human too. No I would definitely save the yeah. human too. So, but yeah, I care for the life of the animal, but to an extent. Mm -hmm. I mean, the question is: Do you care about it more than your taste pleasure? Uh, to an extent, <laughs> but. <laughs> Yeah, not not a hundred percent. No, I mean I, I'd be lying if I said yeah. that. So, no, I mean I'm not gonna. It's still, it is still an animal versus something else. I mean, but but if it was, if there was a better way, I would champion the better way than rather than like outright change my diet. Is what I'm saying. If, yeah. if there if there was some you know other methodology that was a preferred way of switching to and, and there was just a better method, which you got to think there it is theoretically possible. I mean, we probably didn't do this to begin with if you know the, the same methods we use today but do you think do you think there's a good way to kill an individual that doesn't want to die no but again the, it's the <laughs> word individual that we're grappling with here yeah. is an animals an animal humans a human so different levels yeah. do animals want to die no but animals eat other animals too so there's that aspect it, it's it's a difficult question to answer really yeah I, I'm, I'm good okay. all right, all right man. <laughs> i appreciate that because that, it's a tough yeah, interview for I'm sure here. so before we wrap up would you be willing to watch like a quick 60 second video yeah yeah okay awesome oh, man. I'm so bad. Yeah. oh my god that's the humane option right oh yeah, yeah. it's terrible humane. oh jesus that's yeah. terrible. Yeah. And it's like, having seen that, it's like everyone around you, like your friends and family and everyone in your community is like, oh yeah, we know how bad that is too, but we don't care. Yeah. So it's kind of like, are you going to do what everyone else does or are you going to do the right thing? So yeah, I mean, there you go. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Exactly. So if you enjoyed this video and want to help me make this my full-time career, check out my Patreon in the description. And shout out to Ryan O'Neill, Tom Eisenweiss, Nutbase News, and Matthew Lara.